Officer Ricky and 50 cents back at it again. I think 50 to instigate him. I think he really started his beef. I don't know. But as I said, he had nothing else to do, so he went and posted this shit online. I was started, I think he's genius. Now, for those niggas who is really like, oh my god, Officer Ricky has so much money more than 50 um, because he has all these cars, which is a bad investment. You know, they, they, they devalue as soon as you drive a lot. That's common sense shit. And um, these houses, that's that's incorrectly valued. Like, so fucking what? Only thing Officer Ricky has is rap money. He might have a little goonies on the streets pushing a little work here and there, nothing too major, because he don't want to jeopardize his legal money for this little petty street shit. But, um, like, 50 Cent did everything from clothing to sneakers to movies to alcohol, beverages, and shit. Come on, like, he's killing the liquor game on the low. He's like, fuck Ciroc. It wasn't, um, Ricky Rose pushing Ciroc for a little minute, then he got came on this, like, this other little vodka, some shit. Don't know anything about that. <clears throat> but, like, for starters, for you to be bragging, boasting about, you know, 50 Cent having to cut a check to your baby mother that you... On record, do not support your child. Like, come on, my nigga. Like, what kind of ignorant shit is that? But you're like, oh my god, you better cut that check. Your payment was already late. Like, my nigga. And you better make sure that payment right, the baby mama. And it better be on time. The first two been on time. You still about a week late. You only have black fans. White people are not worried about Officer Ricky and who he's gonna vote for in 2016. We already. Had the little interview with Donald Trump and Tony Yayo. I wonder if he really bought them Yayo Yo, Yo albums. Doubt it, because he still didn't go platinum. Sad, sad, sad. Um, but of this shit, my nigga, like, you're bragging and boasting because you, you're, you're posting with all this jewelry and shit, my nigga. Now, soon, eventually, actual seeds will be more value, have more value than gold and silver. So for you to think, oh, yeah, because you have gold, it's worth something. Mm. No, no, no. Melon is worth more than gold. Like a gram is like $300. An ounce of gold is about $300. So you do the math. Like the, the, the value of a fucking Bitcoin, my nigga. Shit is real out there. So if you be bragging and boasting about making bad investments, poisoning the community, my nigga, um, I commend you and the niggas that still support you on their stupid nigga shit. Like if you claiming that you have 200 acres of land, why do you not have your own zip code with your own people living free? Like, why you don't have solar panels? You're still paying these these leaders for, for energy, correct? But you have all this money, but you're not making good investments. 50 Cent, man, he got fucking Robert De Niro movies, my nigga. Talking about cutting a check? Crack is fucking with him. Unlike all these actors that's attacking him in, in, in this fucking gay ass show. He's the owner of his, his own TV sitcom, my nigga. So come on, bro. Your whole image is stolen. Not my opinion, just facts. I wonder what Bangham Smurf is saying about these two niggas. You know, Bangham Smurf the other day came out and said, He's not really holding any grudges towards 50 Cent. You know, um, Rick Ross, Officer Ricky, I apologize, not Rick Ross, co-signed uh, Bangham when he first got deported like three, four years ago on ship. We all know Ross, Ross is a fraud. What hurts my heart is people still support the fuckery. Sad. Gunplay already got fucked up. I fuck with gunplay. Sad, but yeah. He did get his chain yapped. That's the chain that little that 50 Cent had the little boy wearing, so, you know. I haven't seen a G on a chain on anybody else's neck, so. You do the math. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, dislike. Create another account, dislike again. I don't really give a fuck. Till next time, it's your boy.